so now we are doing exercise 3.2 question number 8 question number 8 let me write down the question first so here is our question question says so that the points minus p p and all these points are the vertices of an equilateral triangle so let us take a triangle triangle is a b c okay a b c and let a b p p b b minus p minus p c b p root 3 minus p root 3 so let triangle a b c be the given triangle okay so we are now a b so therefore a b is equal to a b will be equal to root over x1 that is p minus minus p so p minus minus p whole square plus second is x2 uh, no no y y1 minus y2 that is p minus minus p whole square which i can write down as root over p minus p square that is p minus and minus plus so p plus p 2p whole square plus p minus and minus plus p plus p 2p 2p whole square which will be equal to root over 2p whole square that is 4 p square plus 2 to the 4 p whole square 4 plus 4 8 p square root right 8 i can write down as 2 into 2 into 2 right so 8 will be 2 into 2 into 2 into root over p square i'm writing p square and root cancel 2 to the 4 this one i can write down 2 square so 2 square will come out and 2 root 2 p p square it's p so this will be 2 root 2 p now let us find out bc bc will be equal to b minus p minus minus p minus p root 3 whole square plus minus p minus minus p root 3 whole square which will be equal to root over minus p minus p or root 3 whole square so this one i can use as a minus b whole square formula if you know a minus b whole square formula a minus b whole square will be equal to a square minus twice a b plus b square why we are going to use the formula because this is p this is p root 3 so we cannot calculate between them so we are going to use the formula a minus b whole square so a minus b whole square can be written down as a square that is minus p whole square minus twice a that is minus p twice a b b will be p root 3 okay plus b square that is p root 3 whole square okay now here you are going to you are going to write down same thing again a this one a minus b whole square formula again for this question for this part this one right so let us use the formula a square that is p square or minus p square same thing minus twice a b so twice a is minus p and b let me rub the formula where is my eraser so let me rough this one now twice a and b is p root 3 right so here is a a minus into minus plus so a plus b a plus b whole square is a square where is that a square plus twice a b plus b square that is p root 3 whole square okay you may get confused here please try doing this one by yourself in the notebook you'll understand what i've done here just i've used the formula p square it will be p square minus into minus plus 2 p into p root 3 so p square root 3 plus p square and root 3 also square root 3 square square and root cancel it will be 3 and p square plus minus p square it will be p square plus into minus it is minus 2 p p into p 
p square root 3 plus p root 3 square so p square it is p square and root 3 square it will be 3 so 3 p square okay this much now this one and this one can be cancelled and remaining let me write down so which will be equal to root over p square here p square here p square plus p square it will be 2 p square plus 3 p square 3 p square 3 plus 3 6 6 p square so 6 plus 2 6 7 8 p square root right so 8 p square can be written down as 2 root 2 p like previous one now we got a b we got b c now we need to find out a c this one so a c will be equal to root over p minus p minus p root 3 whole square plus p minus p minus minus p root 3 whole square which will be equal to root over p minus p root 3 whole square so same thing use the formula like before a minus b whole square so a square minus twice a b plus b square plus this one minus into minus it will be plus so let me rough this one if you minus into minus it will be plus so let me write down plus here okay a plus b whole square that will be a square plus twice a b plus b square i hope you are not finding any difficulty if you find please do write in the comment below so here this one and this one can be cancelled p square plus p root 3 so p square and root 3 square it will be 3 so 3 p square plus p square plus p this one same thing this one also you can add on as 3 p square so p 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 p square root which you can add on as 2 root 2 p so since a b is equal to b c is equal to a c so you can see a b b c and a c are all equal right so all these are equal therefore so therefore points are of that of points are of that of points are dead of dead of a an equilateral triangle equilateral triangle that's all i hope you understood this much thank you so much we will meet in the next video